Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you need welcome to my channel, yes, Christmas tree is still up and it's looking fabulous, excuse you, no questions needed. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've been planning on doing, but I wanted to wait till I have more, more experience with some of these things, and that is online clothing stores. Now, as you know, last year I did a lot of like online clothing store reviews because I felt like it's something that a lot of people needed, especially during our second year into this pandemic and the only form of proper shopping would be online. So a lot of us did resort to online stores, online shopping because sometimes just being in the store isn't just like the norm anymore which is kind of weird and as much as I love to thrift sometimes these stores just have the things that you specifically need and that is why I want to do a full-on tier list review to let you know exactly where I stand with these companies and what are my thoughts and just you know etc so let's get on to the video so as you can see I have a tier list with five rows one that says yes 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 as in I love this company one says it's a pass, the other is 50-50, has its good and bad days, the other one says flaws on flaws, and the other last one is no, just period, no. And I just want to go through these companies that I have used, that I've seen, and just like my personal thoughts and what I believe you should like take into consideration when you are looking at these stores, just so you don't make the mistakes that I make along with other people and to save your money and live better. Save money, live better, Walmart. So starting off, the first thing on this list is Pretty Little Thing. Now Pretty Little Thing, I haven't actually bought anything from the store personally just yet, but I am planning to. But I've seen their things, some of my friends that have bought stuff from Pretty Little Thing. And I believe it's a pretty good company. If you do want to see me personally buy it and have an actual honest review, let me know in the comments. But Pretty Little Thing for me so far, it's a pass. I've heard a lot of positive things about it. They have great deals going on. And I feel, I believe they have a lot of things for like a lot of different body images. But from the last time I saw, I felt like they had a large variety of things. But as for customer service and those kind of experiences, I haven't dealt with it because again, I haven't bought from this company yet, but I'm planning to do so. And if I do, I'll make sure to make a video about it. Next thing we have is cider. Now cider, I keep seeing cider all over my social pages, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, everywhere it's just cider and i was debating if i should buy cider clothes and actually make a personal video on if cider is good or not but then i saw within like research a lot of people saying that cider clothing are just things you can find off of aliexpress and then you know with aliexpress they just get it from somewhere else so are cider's clothes very authentic i don't believe so there's actually a lot of videos that you can search up on youtube but if you want to see me spend my money on such a website let me know but from what i've seen so far i think cider right now is a no a lot of people on tiktok are making videos of how cider is great and everything but i've been doing my own research and i really don't believe cider is what it's promoted to be but if you want i could possibly buy things on cider and let you know from an honest standpoint where i stand with the company but right now to me it's a no all right next we have is boohoo now boohoo again i haven't had um experience with it but i had friends saying that they personally buy off of boohoo almost all the time and that they're a really really good company and from seeing their clothes and feeling it for myself i really do believe boohoo isn't actually too bad so boohoo as well would be it's a pass i believe it's like a pass because it's pretty good quality material like clothing. I actually feel so bad that I haven't actually bought from these companies, but I am going based off other people's reviews and experiences. And Boohoo actually does seem like a very authentic company. I do want to check them out later on this year, so we'll see if I do that. Misguided, uh, another company that I haven't tried, but people have told me that it's good. But then I also had some people say that it's not the best and that Misguided is just like a... 50-50. So I guess right now, Misguided will be a 50-50. So these four companies on the list right now are companies that I might look into buying towards sometime this year, just so there's a more honest standpoint on if these companies are what they really seem to be or not. So what we have next on this list is Romwe. Now Romwe is something that I'm very, very, very familiar with. And I would say that Romwe is also a 50-50. Romwe, I believe, is the best for when it comes to buying accessories. I've got these like my iconic black 
or the iconic black like blog glasses that you, you see everyone wearing um, these are actually from Romweed. They're very cheap, but the material itself is really, really good. So when it comes to buying stuff on Romweed, I always make sure that I'm just like focusing on like accessories, office supplies, or like office tools to put on the desk because they are really, really good when it comes to terms of that. But their clothes, however, are questionable. So this is a skirt that I got off of Romweed. As you can see, it's like a nice pencil skirt. The material though is somewhat transparent. I don't know if I can show that on camera right now, but you can kind of see that my fingers are very, very like evident throughout this material because it's very, very light. When it comes to raw meat, a lot of their clothes are very, very light material because that's the easiest way to produce and make a lot of money out of it. Now, another skirt that I got from Romney, though, on the other hand, is this other pencil skirt. But this material is a lot more heavier than the one I just showed you. As you can see, this is like actual wool material. Well, this is plain like polyester material. You can kind of see the difference on the camera. Like this one is a lot more heavier. Well, this one's very, very light. The other thing that I do want to talk about is Shein. Now, Shein also goes under this topic of Romwe, and that is because Romwe and Shein are actually sister companies. Now, although I did get this skirt, I believe, off of Romwe, it was basically manufactured in the Shein company, as you can see right here. In a lot of cases, that does happen with Shein and Romwe items. If you buy, I believe, like a phone case off of Romwe, it might come in in like a little uh, Shein bag, or vice versa. If you buy like a little phone case off of Shein, it'll come like in a Romwe bag. And that happens a lot because they're sister companies. So a lot of things that you see on one website, you will see it on the other. Why is that the case? I don't know. Is there a difference in their clothing materials? I don't know. But I tend to buy smaller accessories from Romney. And if I do want clothes, it would probably be off of Shein. But again, I try to stay away from those two companies because it's just a lot of sketchy business behind the scenes. And I, mm. so Romney and Shein would both fall into the 50 50 has its good and bad days because some days you might have the most amazing quality dress and then other days you might have the cheapest made pants in the world so you really don't know what you're in for even the reviews on Shein and Romney it's like always oh, oh this is so good but when they post a picture of a sweater I can see the t-shirt material and I'm like you're not really being honest here right now so yes so the next thing that we have here is Chic Me Chic Me is the one company I'm going to say no no stay away from this company 100 percent. stay away from this company if you haven't seen my video the one that actually pops up when you search up shake me honest with you my video comes up because stay away from this company i'm being brutally honest right now i despite this company i can't even get my money back it's just ugh. it's disgusting it's disgusting because if i will link all these videos to the like the, the reviews i've done in the past you see the light why are these pants see-through? Why are these pants so light? Cargo pants aren't supposed to be light. Cargo pants are supposed to be heavy. That's why they're cargo. Cargo pants. It's in the name. So moving on to blush mark again. No. Blush mark is just no. It's like the, the teen version of Shake Me. I did a whole video on like debunking stuff from blush mark and I go into depth of how I even reverse the image a pair of pants that I wanted and realized on blush mark it was just not for the price that it should be for the quality that I got so make sure to watch that video here's a pair of pants that I did keep when it comes to blush mark though I will give them credit for letting me return things without extra cost like honestly thank you that is probably one of the best things I could say about blush mark because other companies will still charge you for a return label but blush mark was able to provide me with a free shipping label back to wherever they are Ugh. and I was able to return two items to get the original pair of pants and I'll show you later on so here's a pair of pants I got from blush mark they are actually really really cute I actually really really like these but you know there's no drawstrings um, there's no pockets and the material itself is very very light like in my video I show more I want to be nice I feel like blush mark can go on to flaws on flaws because although it does have a lot of flaws 
I did get a lot of good things in the end, like the tank top, that was pretty good. The purse wasn't too bad, but it was a decent purse. The jeans, they were okay, they were okay, but not the worst thing in the world. And the pants as well, not too bad. But the reason why it's so low is because, again, just like Shake Me, they take these pictures off of like other sites, make their own version, and then sell it to an audience looking for cheaper options for high quality clothes. So that is why Shake Me is at the bottom, and then Blush Market is just a tad bit more better on certain senses. Circum circumstances, yes. Two more things that I do want to add on to the list. Starting off with Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, if I were to look at the tier list, it will go to. It's pretty close to yes, 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 but I want to say it's a pass. I've had my differences with Fashion Nova in the past, and a lot of times it's just like it's either a very, very great experience or it's an experience with some flaws. And some of those flaws would include like the shipping of the items itself. Like I made a whole story time about this. You can feel free to watch it for full details. Beauty Suite is just disgusting, okay? Like why, why, why? Why? Maybe it's once you pass a certain like amount of items coming into a country, then you have to pay a beauty fee. Nothing was cleared with me. I'm not 100% sure. So that's one of the things that's been really setting me off, as well as having to return items. Now, let me explain a little bit more. So the pair of pants that I got from Blushmark um, were a pair of like Rugrats like design pants, and the quality was absolutely disgusting. And when I figured out that it was actually from Fashion Nova, I did the right thing and got it from Fashion Nova. And these ones are absolutely amazing. The quality, the quality difference. If the camera can focus, I want to show you how there is actual fur quality in here compared to these pair of pants where it's just plain materials. It's just plain materials. Why am I orange? Once I got these from Fashion Nova, I immediately noticed a difference in the quality and Fashion Nova served this a lot more better because these pants were originally designed from the Fashion Nova website, like the Fashion Nova manufacturers and then Blushmark took the opportunity of taking a picture and making a replica of a very cheap version of it which left me very dissatisfied and I just really really wanted these pants. So when I got these pants they were about the same price but for a better cost because these are amazing, they're warm, they're heavy, they're quality. But the thing about Fashion Nova that I don't think a lot of, no a lot of people talk about this actually is their sizing. The way that they portray sizing isn't the absolute best because um, just like this little guy right here. So this is a two piece set that I got from Fashion Nova. It's like a hoodie and it came with shorts. At first I bought a large because usually when I'm online shopping, I usually go for large or extra large, extra large if I wanted something a little bit baggy. So I got a large, but then once I tried it on, it felt kind of tight. It didn't feel like a large, it felt like more of like a, like a medium large. There's a slight difference there. So I was like, okay, I want to return this and get an extra large that's a little bit more baggier. Returning on Fashion Nova isn't the easiest because similar to Shake Me, they make you pay the returning labels. I guess it depends. It depends, but every time I tried to return something, they were like, okay, you're going to have to pay like an extra $11, $13 for the shipping label so you can get it back and then you'll get your refund. And then I'm just saying, I'm thinking it's like a waste of money because then um, not only am I, so I'm returning something, I want to get my money back, but I'm also spending extra money on top of that just to return something and in hope of buying another pair. So I was just like, no, my mom's like, here, give it to me. I'll give it to one of your cousins in Africa. And I was like, okay, okay, cool, cool. She paid me for it. And then I got an extra large. Now this is the extra large. Now why, why? Tell me why this extra large feels like a large. Like it's not even baggy. And that's the exact same thing with these pair of pants too. I bought these pants in extra large and when I put it on, it didn't really feel like an extra large because an extra large, I know it's an extra large if the bottom is baggy. Like if it's up to my waist and at the bottom there's still like fabric left over. But that wasn't the case with the first pair. So I still have the first pair because they charged me to return this, like to return them. And then I put it on my Depop 
please if you want a pair of fashion over pants for cheap it's on my depop they're really cute with another design as well i put the extra large on depop and then i bought the one xl one extra large yes so it can be a little more baggier but now tell me why the one xl feels like an xl and I'm just so dissatisfied because it's not as baggy as I really, really hoped it would be. But I don't want to buy another pair because then they're just going to charge me extra. And then the one on the uh, and then the one on Depop hasn't sold yet, so I still don't have that money back. Please buy it. <laughs> so a lot of times I just buy like extra large when it comes to pants and like hoodies and then i buy stuff from medium and large if it comes to shirts that way it fits me a lot better and just like how i expect it to so fashion nova i would say it's a pass it it was a close yes 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 but they do have their flaws and a lot of times their customer service is eh, questionable now the last company i'm going to talk about is a company that i'm technically in like a collaboration with in most of my like you know videos and that is yes style because i did sign up for the influencer program we haven't had anything come in so far so i think i'm gonna clear if i'm more honest in this video but honestly yes style isn't too bad yes so actually is one of my favorites and i didn't know about it until like my friends mentioned it like last year or a year or two ago now when it comes to yes so it can be a hit or miss but a lot of times it's mostly a hit if you look carefully at the description details of the clothing because most of the times it's very very accurate so for example i will please please watch the video that me and my friends did on the guest on review because we all have our different opinions we didn't discuss of what we thought about the clothes beforehand everyone just sent me a video of what they thought i put it together and it's honestly one of the most honest reviews i can tell you about yes style and it's actually really really not a bad company because when it comes to yes style again because it is like an asian like targeted company they tend to go for smaller sizes so what would be a large for me on their website i'd have to go for an extra large or a 1xl because again they target to like small asian figures so please keep that in mind so if you're usually like a medium real realistically you're going to have to shop for a large on yes style and if anything make sure to follow their measurements with all the website measure like always follow their measurements and re reviews of people that share their sizes what's what size they usually wear and then what they bought and what worked for them what they changed and etc reviews and just description details are the two most important things for when it comes to online shopping so please 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 always look at them i feel like yes style is one of the best because they also have like stuff with like face products their face products apparently are really really good that's something that galil always always buys <laughs> i'm not calling you out galil i'm just saying how she always tends to like buy like face like facial products from yes i guess because it is it's, i guess because it's just that good yes i really believe is a company that i can put in a yes 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 that's kind of ironic actually yes sell yes 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 but yes 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 they do have moments where things are just kind of questionable Kind of like the bunny hoodie that I showed. Although the material may look a little bit thick on the person, when reading the description, it did show like it was going to be light material. And I did expect it and I still bought it because I, I just wanted it. I just wanted it. And honestly, sometimes even though it was light material, it may not be the material that you were hoping for. It still kind of works out. I got a mini skirt from there. The material for that is absolutely amazing, but because it no longer fits me, it is up on my Depop. So if you want to buy it from my Depop, go ahead and check it out. It's a white tennis mini skirt. I think that's pretty much it. When it comes to companies like um, Dolls Kill, though, uh, uh, I do want to get stuff from Dolls Kills. Like, I do want to review stuff from Dolls Kills because they have the largest brats collection in the entire world. They have brats roller skates. They have brats roller skates that I really, 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 really want. But because Doll Skills is always in some sort of scandal, they don't really have the best practices and stuff, or like they just have, their morals sometimes are just not there. It's always risky buying from the store because I don't want to support a company like this. Like that's why I stopped buying on Shein because I just didn't like their morals and just how they were going upon things. So same thing with Doll Skills. But if DOS Kills does start having a better reputation and if things are starting to uphold better, I will hopefully 
within this year, shop from Dolls Kills, get their brides collection and review it for myself. I really, really hope this helped you. Um, taking a final look at the tier list, I think it's pretty much well said. And I really think this 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 is a good this is a good tier list. End of the video, really, really hope this helps you give more of an insight of the companies to look into. And I think it's time for me to go. So I will see you all in the next video. I love you all so much. Happy New Year. Hope everything is going great. And this is until next time. Bye guys.